Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law describes gases in a system. So if I know how much, we can solve for pressure, temperature, volume using uh, the universal gas constants, R, as well as the number of moles of particles. So this is Avogadro's law or Avogadro's principle. Uh, particles are directly related to pressure, volume, and temperature. And we can use this R value, the ratio of each of our units, to solve for any one of the other four. So let's take a look at this question. We have a 9 gram sample of bromine. So I'm going to have to go from mass grams to moles first. Because the, universal, or the ideal gas law uses N moles, so I need to solve for my moles before we can go forward, but we'll do that next. We have a 20 liter container, so this is my volume. What is the pressure, P, so there's your question mark, of the gas in atmospheres at 1000 K, temperature T? So let's start. We know this is our question, pressure. We know our volume, 20. I can solve for moles N. The universal gas constant, R, is here. This is just filled in for that value. And that does our unit cancellation. And we know our temperature, T, 1000. So I'm going to convert from mass to moles first. So I'm going to take my 9 gram sample of bromine. And we're going to convert that using a proportion. One mole is equal to its formula weight. So grams go down here. Bromine is 79.9, 79.9 times 2 for the formula Br2. And we get 159.8. So 9 times 1 divided by 159.8. 9 divided by 159.8 gives me 0 0.06 moles. 0 0.06 moles. So this is our N value here in the ideal gas law. And now we can fill in our values and actually calculate that pressure. So P pressure is our X value. I don't know that. I'm going to multiply that by my V value, 20 liters. 20 liters equals my moles N. We just solved that. So 0 0.06 moles times the ideal gas constant. So the universal gas constant is 0 0.0821, and our unit is LATM over K mole. And multiply that by our temperature, 1000 K. So one thing to note, this gas constant will change based on your units. So in this question, I am using liters, atmospheres, Kelvin, and moles. If you're using a different pressure, that value will change. So just be careful about your unit you're using for R. Now let's do some unit canceling. I've got 20 liters, and I can put any number over 1 for a numerator denominator uh, view. So 20 liters on top, liters on top, I can't cancel that out. Moles on top here, that cancels with moles on the bottom there. Then Kelvin on top here, temperature, cancels with Kelvin on the bottom there for temperature. So if we calculate through, we still have x times 20 liters equals 0 0.06 times 0 0.0821. 0 0.06 times 0 0.0821 times 1,000 gives me 4.93. And this is L liter atmospheres. To solve, we're going to divide by 20 liters. Divide by 20 liters. That's gone. 4.93 divided by 20 and then liters cancel out, top and bottom, and I'm left with the unit I want, atmospheres. So we do 4.93 divided by 20, and I get 0 0.25. This is atmospheres. That's the only unit left after this calculation. It's the unit we're looking for in pressure, so this has a quarter atmosphere of pressure at that temperature. So hopefully that's helpful. Interpret your questions, figure out your values. Do you need to solve for moles? This is the biggest one to, uh, you people miss. So pay attention. Are you in moles or do you need to solve for your moles first? Same thing at the end. Are you solving for mass? If you're solving for mass, you're going to have to find your moles, solve for N, and then convert back to a mass. So pay attention to your question. In the description, there is a link to some questions you can try on your own. If you have questions or if you want more things described, please leave a comment. I'd be happy to make some follow-up videos. Thanks for watching.